Okay, so as a lot of you know, I posted yesterday that we got some um, kind of unfortunate news about Jackson. Um, a while ago, we did an epilepsy panel and that um, they swabbed his mouth and got like two long big old vials full of spit and in that it is basically genetics and it tests his gene. We just got the results back and um, It could have been anything, but what we were really hoping for was that it would come and say like he just needs this vitamin and it will stop his seizures or... Or he'll grow out of it in a few yeah, years. Yeah, but unfortunately we did not get that news. Um, today we actually feel strong enough to talk about it. Um, of course when we first heard the news that we're about to tell you guys... We were pretty broke. We were pretty upset. Um, I still am at times. Sometimes it gets hard to talk about, you know, we both get kind of choked up. <coughs> Um, so we did not get the results that we were hoping for, obviously. Um, this is something that 100% came out of left field and we were not expecting this whatsoever. So I'm going to be looking down because it's a lot of paperwork. Um, obviously we won't read the whole thing. We'll no, but I'm going to read a yeah. lot. Yeah. And let you guys know say what it is. Okay, so basically like they don't even really fully have a name for it yet. <clears throat> they just kind of threw a bunch of names together and they were like, yeah, let's call it this. And when the doctor was telling us about it, she even tried to like look it up in her system and it said no results found. So what- it's so rare. Yeah, it is so rare what he has and it's just, it's crazy. So uh, she printed out a lot of paperwork of what she could find as far as like how we can go more into detail of what it is. So that's what Brianna's gonna read to you guys. Okay, so they are saying that it's called early infantile epileptic encephalopathy which is long, and it's specifically his SLC13A5 gene. So like I said, they don't have a name for it. It's, it's that specific gene. So this gene basically is mutated and it's not normal. And that's why Jackson is no, not No, he's not gonna be an X-Men. No, he's not gonna have superpowers. I said, why couldn't he be an X-Men or something? Or yeah. But no. Oh, you're getting mad? Talk to your brother for a minute. Hi. Okay, so, um, so basically the main points of this is, is that they said that he's not going to grow out of this. Um, that was the hardest part for us to hear, that he's going to have to suffer with seizures and battle this his entire life. That most of these kids that have this do not grow out of it. Okay, so the main things that this um, gene thing has going on is seizures beginning within the first few days of birth which you guys all know Jackson had seizures right when he was born mm -hmm. um, persistent seizures of multiple types that's why Jackson has had all different kinds of seizures like he doesn't just do one thing um, and luckily he doesn't convulse like he doesn't fall on the floor and shake or anything mm -hmm. like that um, it says that as he gets older he'll have severe expressive language delay with better receptive language meaning I guess that He'll, He'll be able have, to retain information yeah. better, but he won't be able to display it. Yeah, to like get it out. Express it. Yeah. Low muscle tone and lack of muscle control or coordination of voluntary movements such as walking or picking up an object, which we've noticed already that he's very stiff. He kind of like has his arms like this yeah. and he looks like this. So I used to like joke around like, hey, clever, who you finna beat up, you know, but... It's, it's not a joke anymore. It's, yeah, this is why he does that. It's because he's of, very stiff. Yeah, yeah. Um, we try to sit him up you know and he does not like to sit up he pushes back and yeah. likes to be straight he likes like to be this. straight yeah and then with the picking up things he's not able to grab things yet because his hands are fisted a mm -hmm. lot of the times and at first we were thinking he might have cerebral palsy but now we know that it's because of this condition yeah. so it makes sense and it kind of has like something to like lately he's been picking his head up pretty well he's been able yeah. to hold it up but he still, he still like bobs it, you yeah. know, and it's like why like you know Is it just our kid a late bloomer, but this is why like this has a huge effect on his life and yeah. ours and It's just it's um, crazy And then they also said episodes of body stiffening or weakness lasting a few minutes to an hour So we've noticed that when Jackson goes to sleep his hands will be clenched yep. Like very For a few minutes and then he'll and then he'll relax. It. it used to be like that all the time He used to keep his hands just super clenched like he's about yeah. to punch someone but now lately it's like once he finally gets to sleep within a few minutes he releases so yeah. it's kind it's calmed down but it's still there you know yeah but i mean <clears throat> at one point i was thinking maybe he was having seizures when he was sleeping so now i know that yeah. that's not that it's it's his condition 
Um, it says poor development of teeth or weakness of teeth enamel. We were very surprised to hear that. So now we have to, whenever he does start seeing a dentist, we have to make sure that his teeth are closely monitored because mm -hmm. he'll have weak enamel. It says brain MRI that appears normal or has subtle changes in the white matter, which Jackson does not have a normal MRI. So that's not with this. So that's a whole nother thing mm -hmm. that we're adding to it. Hi everybody. He got mad. So he Say wanted hi. to join us. Say hi, hi. baby. Hey. Okay, um, now what is the cause of this? This is the craziest part to us, um, and a, another really hard part for us to take in, you know, emotionally, and that is that this was caused by a gene that I carry and Tyler carries. So, we both carry this gene, so it caused Jackson to have this condition. Um, they said if me and Tyler have any more kids together, there is a 50% chance they will come out just like Jackson. So, for us, to say, we're not going to take those chances. Yeah, we're not going to take those chances um, because Jackson is suffering enough with these seizures and everything else that he has going on. So, that also concerns us with Caden. Um, Caden obviously didn't inherit what Jackson has, but he could still be a be carrier, carrier yeah. because I carry it. So, um, we have to get me and Tyler both tested to confirm it. Then after we confirm that I have it, we have to get Caden tested so that he knows in the future whether or not, you know, he can have a kid with this person or that person. Because if he partners up with somebody that like me and Tyler, then they can have a baby just like Jackson. And, mm -hmm. you know, we love Jackson and everything. We don't regret him at all with any part of us. But we don't want any other baby to have to suffer like Jackson has had to suffer. He's gone through so much in his four months of life. Say hi, baby. Say hi. He loves chewing on his hands. That's a new thing. Definitely. He's kind of fussy right now. <clears throat> okay, it also says that this is a rare genetic disorder that affects both males and females equally. So far, reports of about 50 patients have been published in various databases um, that the patients are from families of various ethnic backgrounds from the USA, European, and South American countries. So, how does this help us in Jackson's care? Um, they said, tell me about the sodium channels. Oh, so they said that this main, that his main condition is affected his sodium channels in his brain. So with that being said, a lot of medicine that he takes for his seizures have something to do with the sodium channels. So whether the, it's a good or bad. So the doctor was really concerned about, uh, there's this medicine he was on that he's off now called Vimpat. And that was something that Affected he, the sodium channel. Yeah, and it honestly, since we've taken him, since we've taken him off of that, he's been doing a lot better. So yeah. the trilethal, did I say that right? Yeah. That medicine is something that can also affect his sodium channels, but we feel like he's been doing better, so it may affect it in a positive way. Yeah. So, so right we, now we're we just don't want to touch it, yeah, and neither do any of the other neurologists. They don't. They just want to leave it how it is. But as far as that, it's just like. We just, we really just have to watch him and we really have to monitor him. And we're, not only are we expressing you guys what we're going through, but we also want to raise more awareness for if, if anyone's watching this or if anyone that you know has someone who's dealing has with that. This. It's extremely rare. Yeah. So like if we can find somebody whose kid has the same exact thing and kind of see, you know, what to expect for the future with Jackson, that would help a lot. Yeah. And um, we just want to raise awareness as well, like to other people, you know, cause this is, this is something not to deal with, man. This is, this is something, it's crazy. Crazy. Like you never would have I never in my life would have expected that we her and I were gonna have a kid It would be biologically my first and this is how it would play out Yeah, this and is something it, nobody expects like yeah. I think you expect to have a healthy <clears throat> kid and I'm not gonna lie I did I, thought I, did I had one before like he should this next one should be fine. I did too This is completely out of nowhere and it has like I hope that people go and get tested for things now mm -hmm. before they have kids because yeah. we had no idea. There's nobody in my family that has epilepsy. He has sh a short little bit of epilepsy in his past, but nothing mm -hmm. like this um, where it was genetically passed down. Um, it also says that treatment <coughs> is to give anti-seizure medications, which we're doing, and it says some anti-seizure medications are successful with some patients, but most have limited ex success. So that's why we haven't been very successful, and it's because this is a struggle, This um, being able to beat this. It says that there's lots of um, trials and stuff going on, so they want us to like reach out and 
um, let them know that you know we want to know more information about this and I know <laughs> you see yourself funny uh. <laughs> he's like whatever um, so we're not sure what what to expect for the future I mean that's kind of this is what has happened with the other kids that have this we're hoping that not all of this applies to Jackson um, we're hoping that he can walk you know I'm hoping that his motor skills his are on motor point. Skills, his... I mean, I'm expecting him to be a little <clears throat> behind, but I, mm -hmm. I mean, we're just expecting the worst and hoping for the best at this point. Yeah. So if you guys could just keep, please Hi. keep praying for us. And, Hi. Um, I don't know what else to ask. Just think of us. So thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> He's like leaning forward, babe. You got it. Uh, <laughs> drool. Just drink drool. <laughs>